guys, happy April. Welcome to the inaugural studio vlog. Actually, I've been doing these for a little while now on Patreon and I figured it was time to do one that was more public. And with the launch of our new website, I figured now would be the perfect time. So usually in these, I'll do a little behind the scenes of what I've been working on and give you a tour around the studio. So for this month, I'm excited to recap everything that's new and also give you a peek into what I'm working on next. So I think as most of you probably know if you're watching this that I have a bunch of new updates for this month. There's a new book, new art prints, new site, new packaging, new everything. So I just want to do a recap of everything that's been going on since really the start of this year. In January, it really started then where I wanted to do just a clean, fresh start. And I began with an illustration exercise where every day I would draw a new letter and have it be planned around this sentence. So the original idea I had was actually to have an alphabet that would share different traits or virtues that I thought would be nice to share with kids. Like A is for altruism and B is for bravery and C is for courage, kind of like that. But then I decided I wanted to bring a little bit more storytelling into it. So I created these alliterative sentences that were conveying the same values, but not as explicitly. So I started with just writing out all of those different sentences. And then every day I would do one illustration and post it on Instagram. That really helped me be not too precious about any single one of them and really just commit to finishing one on a day-to-day -day basis and let that be the limitation that also would push me forward. And I found that that really helped me and worked. And while I started off not necessarily expecting that it would become a book, about halfway through, I was pretty sure by then that it would be. So, it's interesting because I have all of these other stories in mind and those have not seen the light of day, maybe because I'm a little bit too precious about those. Whereas with both Let's Go Explore, my first book and this Alphabet Adventure book, it really started off as this experiment and committing myself to post it on Instagram and getting people's feedback really helped me propel that project forward. And now Alphabet Adventure is my second picture book ahead of some other big projects that I have been working on. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. After I finished all the illustrations, I collected them into an uh, InDesign file and formatted them to be picture book friendly. So there was a lot to do just after the basic illustrations were done. There was color correcting and making sure that everything looked cohesive and then designing the actual physical book itself. But now it's finally all done and the pre-order is live. Thank you to everyone who's already placed a pre-order. That part always makes me really happy. And now the books are being produced and should be with me by July, hopefully. So that is taken care of. And then I moved on to creating art prints out of some of the illustrations from the book. I'm really happy with how the art prints turned out. I'm using a new type of paper, which is this Mohawk textured paper. and has this really beautiful effect. And I'm using a different format, like I haven't done this white border around the illustrations before, but I'm really happy with how these turned out. And then after having kind of the books and the prints in mind, I started working on the website. So the website was really the vessel for these new items and I really wanted it to all have this cohesive aesthetic. And so I'm really happy with how that turned out as well. And then of course, alongside that, I was thinking about the packaging experience. So once the book was done, a lot of February was actually going through all of the packaging that I had, redesigning it and figuring out how to make it as eco-friendly as possible. So little things that you might not consider, such as using clear 
plastic tape that most people use for shipping that is not recyclable. So moving to a water activated paper tape, which I actually really like the look of. And also vinyl stickers are not recyclable. I'm moving to one that is. Like all of that makes little differences so that now all of our shipping packaging can be recyclable, which makes me also very happy. So each little touch point from you know creating the actual project to creating the website where it's hosted and having that digital experience. And then finally, that physical experience that people get when they receive the item was all thought out and got to have a fresh start all at once. And that makes the experience cohesive and look all new. So I hope you guys got a chance to check out the website. And then if you guys place an order, you'll get a chance to check out how the new packaging looked. And all of that came together really nicely. And finally, at the end, I was happy to turn many of the illustrations that have an overlap with the prints and also the books into our first spring or studio treat box. So that is our free download for the season. And definitely check that out before it gets updated for the next summer treat box. Everything else, let me show you during the studio tour because you'll see a lot more of how that all tied in together. Okay, so let me give you a tour from the entrance. When you walk in, this easel that Julian got me a few years ago, I think for my birthday, welcomes you. And I have this meditation cushion on the floor that I really love. This gold turtle hiding back here is actually my doorstop. And then I have this table I really like from Article in the center of the room. You can see my light and camera back there. I have this gallery wall back here and I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. I have one of the first iterations of the new insert and then this little daily calendar my friend gave me many years ago that I still really like. I don't remember to change the date every day so I just left it on our anniversary. This little avatar drawing that I made a long time ago. Avatar is, I think, still my favorite animated series, so a huge inspiration for me. The two prints that I tested, an Eames print that someone gave to me and got a little bit water damaged, but I think it adds to the vintage charm. These two really delicate and beautiful leaves that someone gave to me. This one says, one leaf, one joy, and on the back it says one flower, one earth, which I think is really sweet. Back here, there is this moon poster that I really like. It shows the phases of the moon and it's accurate, so that's really beautiful. I have this hanging accessory thing from Ikea. And I just put some sketchbooks, some packaging paper, some tools that I can reach easily over here, and some of my woo-woo spiritual stuff. And he fell. Oh no. This is my measuring tape, actually. Most adorable measuring tape ever. And then a little workshop apron over here. Over here is actually a new storage cabinet that I got. It has a rustic feel and you never know what you're gonna get. So I kind of try to treat it as a Zen experience of, okay, like that's the one I got. And storage wise, I really like it. It fits everything that I need perfectly. I think I'm gonna eventually move this laser cutter and put my books over here, but that's still in progress. I have to hang these metal floating shelves from CB2. I'm gonna put them up here and then turn this into a more, actually it's still gonna be my work in progress slash mood board, but it'll just have a slightly different look and feel. And then back here is my inventory and fulfillment space. And then I just store the remaining inventory in a storage room and then refill this area as it empties out. So that way I can keep things manageable and I have things like my paper cutter and then my tape dispenser over here and then back here behind door number one I have just some storage or shipping supplies so all the different sizes and then my little 
box over here of my inserts and stickers. And that's about it. Ooh, I want to give you guys a little bit of a tour on the books on my desk because it's a sneak into what I'm working on next. These are the books that are always on my desk. They're my little inspiration stack. I have Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse, The Alchemist, First Moomin's Book, and my all-time favorite, The Little Prince. So let me just give you a quick tour on what those look like. So this is a great little book by Shunryu Suzuki. And he is well known in the meditation and mindfulness world. And it's a great little book if you're interested. And this one is by Charlie McKezzy. And if you don't know who he is, I highly recommend following him on Instagram. We have these really poignant and simple little vignettes. The Alchemist, I think most of you probably know. It's in every like hostel backpacker's Bible but actually has very similar themes to all of the books in this deck. The Moomins. This book actually I heard was not very popular when it first came out and then the Moomins became really popular with her second and third books, but I really like having the very first one here. And then of course, The Little Prince, which is the best book of all time. <laughs> Besides this evergreen stack of books, my latest edition is Planting Seeds. So this is what I'm currently reading. And it's about practicing mindfulness with children put out by Thich Nhat Hanh, who is probably my favorite spiritual Zen master teacher. It basically gives different guidance and exercises for teachers and parents to do with children and also for themselves. And it's done in Thich Nhat Hanh's Typical, simple, clear, poetic, and loving way. And I really am enjoying studying it. And this kind of gives a glimpse into what I am working on next, which is the mindfulness picture book or illustration series that I've been thinking about for a while. So there's definitely a through line with each and every single one of these books. I think that's a good place for us to stop this first studio vlog. I will see you guys next month if you're watching from Patreon or else for the summer edition. I hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy and that things are looking up wherever you are. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and thank you so much for watching. Till next time, bye.